Number 20. What changes occur to the atomic number and the mass of a nucleus during each of the following decay scenarios? And then we have an alpha particle is being emitted. Okay, so key in on the wording here, we are talking about emission, right? If something is emitted, it is undergoing emission. And if you are emitting something, you are putting it out there in the environment. So that means that whatever particle they're talking about, that's going to be part of the products. So particle getting thrown into the products. So PP. <laughs> Boop -boop. So PP for emission. Particles are always in the products. So we know that this alpha particle is going to be thrown into the products. It's going into the atmosphere. So it's breaking off from that radioactive substance and going into the atmosphere. So let's see. So we have our alpha particle. But now we need to know exactly what an alpha particle is. Well, let's use our nucleide notation. And here's the three boxes right here. Lovely. An alpha particle is secretly a helium. So it's an HE. Helium always has an atomic number of two. So that two goes on the bottom. And spe uh, specifically, if you're talking about an alpha particle, you're talking about the atomic mass that has a four. So four on top, two on the bottom. It's a helium. This should be memorized. But now let's just see what's happening to the atomic number and the nucleus of the radioactive, uh, you know, substance. So I got to put another nucleide notation. So let's just say that this is the guy that's radioactive. I don't know. Call, call, call this whatever you want, right? So we'll do, I don't know, radioactive substance. Pick any one. Generally, I don't like to go too, too high with the numbers. Substance. So we'll do big bad carbon 14. So carbon. The radioactive one generally is carbon-14, and carbon always has an atomic number of 6. So here's our atomic number on the bottom. Maybe I'll just say atomic num, and then we have the atomic mass on the top. Now keep in mind that the tops on both sides have to equal each other. So 14 has to collectively be the number on the other side. So if we add just another radioactive or nucleide notation, we don't really know if this is going to be radioactive or not. It's going to be more stable because it's emitting off alpha particles. But if I have 14 and now I'm losing 4, this has got to be 10, right? 4 plus 10 equals 14. So what in essence happened to your mass? The mass, right, the atomic mass dropped by how much? Yeah, you got it. The atomic mass decreases by four because the four is going to the helium. And then what's gonna happen to your atomic number? What do you think as I write this down? The atomic number yeah, it's also going to decrease. How much? Yeah, you got it, two. Because total of six here, I'm losing two, so this has got to be four. And then the atomic number always tells you what the atom is. So a four guy is beryllium in this case. But this is your final answer. So if you are admitting a alpha particle, your mass will drop by four and your atomic number will drop by two because that's the numbers that are part of the alpha particle. And that's it. What do you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, we also opened up memberships for the new school semester. So if you want to help us out a little bit more, you can. Not obligated, not mandatory, but any little bit helps us out, which in turn helps you guys out because we'll be able to pump more stuff out for you guys. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. Keep studying hard. Bye-bye.